this video we are going to learn a new concept of analytic function in which i am going to teach you how to find out the analytic function when harmonic function is given now guys to understand its concept we should know what is the relationship between harmonic function and analytic function so we know that any function of x and y let's say in cartesian uh, format that if a function is of x and y and if it satisfies the laplace equation so let's take one example here so here i am saying let u that is function of x and y this is just a general function u and let's say this is satisfying the laplace equation in cartesian form so what is the laplace equation so let's say do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square is equal to 0 so this is we call as laplace equation in cartesian coordinates so if that function u satisfies laplace equation then that time we say that the given function is harmonic so in this case i can say u is harmonic function now we know that if any function u is harmonic or let's talk about the analytic function so when we say that whenever a function f of z is analytic function then that time it has two parts real and imaginary so real part u and the imaginary part v both are harmonic so this is the property of analytic function so let's take example so here i'll say let f of z which is u plus iv now i'm saying that this f of z is analytic function so in that case u and v both are harmonic it means that these two functions will satisfy this laplace equation so whenever f of z is analytic function that time we say that u and v are conjugate harmonic function of each other so u is conjugate harmonic of v and v is conjugate harmonic of u so now you must have understood what is the relationship between analytic function and harmonic function so they are related with each other now here uh, there are certain cases in mathematics where they will be giving you the harmonic function let's say they can give you u or v and they'll ask you to find out the analytic function from that harmonic function now we know that u and v are conjugate harmonic functions so if we have any harmonic function given let's say v is given or u is given we can find out their first order derivative or i, I would say first order partial derivatives that is do u by do x and do u by do y in case of u and if v is given as harmonic then we can find out do v by do x or do v by do y so i'll start with that step only so step number one is if harmonic function is given u then we have to find out do u by do x and do u by do y or v is given do v by do x and do v by do y and once we get these two values then we know that f of z is analytic function which we want to find out and if f of z is analytic then we can use the property of analytic function and that property is nothing but the value of derivative of analytic function so we have a property of derivative of analytic function that is f dash of z is given by the formula do u by do x minus i do u by do y so guys by using this formula we can get the value of f dash of z for that we have to substitute the value of do u by do x and do u by do y that we got in step number one and once we get f dash of z then we have to use the mill thompson's method now why the reason is u is function of x and y so the values of do u by do x and do u by do y will be in terms of x and y so obviously this f dash of z which is equal to do u by do x minus i do u by do y will be also in terms of x and y but if i want to find out analytic function that is f of z then i need to integrate that f dash of z with respect to z and if i want to integrate f dash of z with respect to z then i should bring that f dash of z in terms of z and to bring f dash of z in terms of z we use mill thompson's method so here i'll say the step number three is 
apply mill comsense method so in mill thomson's method we put x equal to z and y as 0 in value of f dash of z it means in step number 2 we have to substitute x as z and y as 0 so that the whole function will get converted in terms of z and we get the value of f dash of z in terms of z and then the last step that is integrating both sides so here i will say integrate f dash of z to get the value of f of z and that f of z is nothing but our analytic function so this is the process to find out the analytic function when harmonic function is given now to understand this concept let's take one small example so i have a function so I have a function v which is equal to 3x square y plus 6xy minus y cube which is a function of x and y and we have to show that v is harmonic first and then we have to find out the corresponding analytic function. Now let's start with the first part that is let's show v is harmonic and for that we have to prove the Laplace equation for v. So here I will say dou v by dou x is equal to let's partially differentiate this v with respect to x so we will get 6 x y here we will get 6 y and here 0 next what is dou square v by dou x square so here we will get 6 y and here 0 next let's find out dou v by dou y so i'll differentiate this with respect to y partially so 3x square constant outside and derivative of y with respect to y is 1. Next year 6x and the derivative of y is again 1 and derivative of y cube is 3y square. Next dou square v by dou y square. So we have to differentiate this value again with respect to y. So here we will get 0, here 0 and here we will get minus 6y. Now guys, the last step, we will add dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square and if we will add it, then we will get 6y and minus 6y which is equal to 0 and therefore, this v is satisfying the Laplace equation and therefore, I can say therefore, v is harmonic function. So now we have proved that V is harmonic function. Now let's find out the corresponding analytic function. And for that, we will find out the value of dou V by dou X and dou V by dou Y. But guys, we don't need to find out dou V by dou X and dou V by dou Y because already it is there in the above steps. So what we will do is, we will use the formula of F dash of Z, which we can find out from dou V by dou X and dou V by dou Y. And once we find the F dash of Z, then we will apply the mill thompson's method so let's start so f dash of z is equal to dou v by dou y plus i dou v by dou x so we are using the property of analytic function and we are getting the value of f dash of z so now we'll substitute the values of dou v by dou y and dou v by dou x that we got so the value of dou v by dou y that we got is 3x square plus 6x minus 3y square plus i. The value of dou v by dou x is 6xy plus 6y. Now, this value of f dash of z is in terms of x and y. And as I said that we have to use mill Thompson's method to convert this f dash of z in terms of z. So here I will say by mill Thomson's method we will get f of z as 3z square plus 
6z. Next, this term is 0 because in Mill Thompson's we substitute y as 0 and x as z. y 0, so this term is 0, this term is 0. So we got f of z as 3z square plus 6z. Now let us integrate both sides with respect to z and let us get the value of f of z which is the required question. So here I will say integrating both sides. with respect to z we will get f of z that is the analytic function as 3 z cube by 3 plus 6 z square by 2 plus c so by cancelling 3 3 we will get z cube plus 3 z square plus c as the value of analytic function f of z Thank you.